Europe, a community of nations which can do no wrong, a perfect brotherhood in which we all share. From free money to social mobility, the benefits are obvious to being in Europe. They've bled us dry, hampering a British recovery and harping on about climate change. It's time to get out, it's time to get involved. It's almost 20 years since we won Eurovision. We can't let that record stand. We need to hang out with Europe. Share a coffee, share the calamari, share the subsidies. The EU are getting honest British bangers to move aside for Bratwurst and Terra Masalami. Europe is holding us back, making us pay vastly reasonable prices for all the much better goods that we enjoy from the continent. Thanks to one or two lovely secret trade deals that people like you don't need to know about. All you need to do is say no to the EU and we'll be able to shoot grouse and frack the great British land as much as we will absolutely categorically take no position on fracking that might make us look bad in the future. There's no evidence that it will result in endless floods of foreign workers enriching our tired businesses. Oh, let's buy the continent a croissant and say we oui, we oui. let's Open all the doors. Let's batten down the hatches again. 10 million new jobs. 20 million immigrants. School siestas for the under fives. Compulsory Esperanto at A level. That's why, when it comes to Europe, the answer's simple. On, On the, the 22nd, 22nd of May, take, take the, the right, right choice and vote, vote for. Something else? What? Huh? Take over. Reset, please. The Green Party knows that Europe isn't perfect but it also knows that making it better is about actions, not arguing, like Lib Dem, Labour, the Tories and UKIP. No, no. Whilst these guys have been fighting over Europe for the last four years, the Green Party has been making it better for everyone. We booked this place weeks ago, you know. Oh, bore off tuition fees. As one of the largest parties in Europe, they've been busy helping to cap bankers' bonuses, improve human rights for workers, make the EU more accountable. But they're the only ones fighting fracking. And they are the only ones standing up to the secret trade deals, which are being written so that US corporations have the power to privatise our public services and the NHS. Europe does a lot for us. But it can only become the Europe we need if there are more green MEPs in there making the difference. And because the vote at the Euro elections is proportional. Every green vote counts. If you vote green on the 22nd of May, you will get more green MEPs. So, if you think that Europe should be a shouting match, then fine. Go and talk to those guys. But if you think we should be making a Europe that is fairer for everyone, then vote green. It's for the common good.